Right, back to the paper and pen. Let's try this problem. So example one, let's calculate the area under the curve y equals sine x plus three cos x between x equals zero and x is equal to pi over two. Okay, so remember, in order to work out the area, so the area capital A, remember the formula, you integrate y with respect to x, and the limits of the integral are 0 and pi over 2. Okay, so y, y is given, so the equation of our curve is sine x plus 3 cos x. So if we replace y in, in our formula, so in this case we're going to integrate between limits 0 and pi over 2, y which is sine x plus 3 cos x with respect to x okay so in this case we have trigonometric functions to integrate so when we integrate sine it's minus cos plus when you integrate cos it's plus sign so if you integrate 3 cos x it's 3 sine x Okay, between our limits and our limits are between zero and pi over two. Okay, so what needs to be done is substituting our limits. So the upper limit goes in first. Upper limit is pi over two. So if we replace our upper limit, we'll have minus cos x, which is pi over two, plus three into sine x, which is pi over two. So this is what we should have when we replace our upper limit. The lower limit being zero, and when we replace that, we're gonna have minus cos x, which is zero, plus three sine x, which is zero, okay? So cos of pi over two, that's a standard result. So cos of pi over two, cos of 90, that is zero, okay? So we're gonna have a zero plus uh, sine pi over two is one, so that's a standard result also. So sine 90 sine pi over two is one times three, which is three, and minus and cos of zero, that is one, that's a standard result, plus sine zero is zero, so plus zero. So when you simplify, 3 plus 0 is 3, minus into minus 1 is plus 1, so the area being 4 units squared. So that's the answer to the first problem, okay? Let's try another area related problem. So let's calculate the area under the curve y is equal to 3 sine x over 2 between x equals 0 and x equals 2 pi. So remember to work out the area A, we use the formula, the integration of y with respect to x and the limits of this integral are 0 and 2 pi. Okay? So we have the curve equation for y. y is 3 sine x over 2. So if we replace y here, we're integrating between 0 and 2 pi of 3 sine x over 2 with respect to x. Okay? So in this case, let's integrate. So again, we've got a trigonometric function to integrate. So if you integrate sine, it's minus cos. So it's a minus three cos x over two, but you need to divide by uh, half. So don't forget to do that, okay? And the limits of this integral are two pi the upper and zero, the lower limits. So if I continue, so let's simplify this before we substitute in the limits. So 
minus 3 over half is minus 6 cos x over 2 between the limits 0 and 2 pi. So what needs to be done is to replace our limits. So let's substitute the upper limit 2 pi first. So it's minus 6 into cos x which is 2 pi divided by 2, okay, minus the lower limits being 0, so minus 6 into cos x which is 0 divided by 2, okay. So when we simplify, let's have a look. Now these two 2's can cancel and cos of pi is a standard result, cos of pi is minus 1. So minus 1 times minus 6 is plus 6, okay, uh, minus of, and in the second bracket, 0 over 2 is 0, and cos of 0, a standard result, is 1. 1 times minus 6 is minus 6. So if we simplify this, 6 minus minus 6 is 12 units squared. So that is the solution to example two.